going on everybody in this video I'm gonna teach you how to add a health bar into your game this is a very simple method to use when you want to add health bars this took me quite a while to learn but once I figured it out I realized it's pretty easy so hopefully this will be a great help to you so what do I have going on here I have a sprite for my player I have my object player which is right here notice there's no code in here whatsoever so we're gonna start from scratch and make this as simple and painless as possible then we have our level with our player inside. So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna need two sprites for your health bar. The first sprite you're gonna need, we're gonna call sprite under slash health bar back. Edit sprite, file, new, and we're gonna make this um, 50 width and 10 height. Now you can adjust this based on what works for you. Okay, let's go ahead and make a box all right just like this and instead of white let's actually make this a dark gray so what we're gonna do is basically with our code we're gonna fill this gray box with green which is gonna be our health and as we get hit we're gonna lose health and it will be turned to gray and that way it, it kinda can you know the player can gauge how much health he has lost so this is our back panel to our health bar. Okay, no need to center it. Click OK. Let's create another sprite and this will be our health bar. Edit sprite. Now for these dimensions, it's gonna be a little bit different. We want two width and our height, we want it to be eight instead of 10. And you can go ahead and make this whatever color you want your health to be. I'll just make it green. Some people might prefer red. All right, very easy. Again, no need to center it. Okay, now for our object player, we want to add two variables uh, in the create event. So the two variables we want are max hit points, and we'll put that equal to 100, and then hit points equal to max hit points. Now, this variable should always stay the same because this is the maximum number of hit points our player should ever be allowed to have. And then our hit points, this is the variable that's gonna change. And we're just gonna start it off at max hit points, which will start it off at 100. Okay, let's add a key press event, space. Let's add our code. And whenever we click space, we want to lose, let's say 10 hit points. That way we can do some damage to ourselves. And let's add a draw event now. Let's create our health bar. First thing we wanna do is draw self. Basically, all that is going to do is draw whatever sprite your object player is using. Now we want to add a couple more codes here. Yeah, one second. Just got a uh, text on my phone. Let me exit out of that. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, two things you want to add here. Draw sprite. Sprite health bar back. Minus one for the sub-image condition. Okay, then we want to put our X. And then Y, let's put that negative uh, 40. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to lift this panel above the player's head. We don't want this to be directly in the middle of our player. So you might have to adjust this number based off the size of your player's sprite. So just keep that in mind. You might have to adjust this. You might also have to adjust X as well. In fact, we might have to do this even in this video. Okay, so the next thing you want to add is draw sprite under slash stretched. And we're going to draw out our health bar. We're going to put minus one for our sub image variable. Now we're going to put x plus one and then y minus 39. Oop, 39. And then the next thing we're going to do for our width, we're going to put in this piece of code, hit points ah, divided by or slash max hit points times or an asterisk there 10 and then the next or I'm sorry not 10 48 uh, ignore that 10 and then for our height is gonna be 8 okay so let me kind of explain what is going on here so obviously we're first drawing out our player sprite then we're drawing out the back panel for our health bar the next thing we're doing is basically stretching out this health bar, which remember is only two pixels wide. We're stretching this out right here with this code in the width. 
So this is just kind of a formula that's going to do most of the work for you. Okay, so let's kind of back up. Then we have, we're drawing out the sprite. Then we're putting x plus 1. And let me explain why we're doing x plus 1. If we go back to our health bar panel, health bar back, and we zoom way in here, we want the health bar to start here and not here. If we just had x, it would start right here and look really awkward. We want the health bar sprite to start exactly one pixel ahead, and we want it to start right here, and then it's going to stretch it out with that code and fill this entire area. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. I'm just kind of explaining this code a little bit. I hope that's okay. And then that's the same reason we're doing this right here, y minus equal 39. Uh, we want it to be exactly one pixel down from this sprite. So again, if your y was negative 50, you, wouldn't wa you would want this to be negative 49. So you will have to play around with this based off what works for you. Okay, and if you have a larger, actually let me explain this in a minute. Let, let's see if this works. <laughs> Some of you guys might not want to know all this, so let, let's just go ahead and run this. Give it a second. And you can see there is our health bar above our player, so obviously we would have to adjust this because we want it over his head. If we click space, we begin to lose hit points. And there it is. There is your health bar. So one more thing I just want to point out. If you have a larger health bar back so let's say instead of 50 you have this stretched out to like 60 you would want it to be let's say if you had it 60 you would want this to be 58 so it's whatever your width is minus 2 and uh, just to keep that in mind if look I'm gonna I'm gonna actually end this tutorial here because I can get really in depth with the mathematics here but I think you guys so far have what basically you need to make your health bar and you can play around with the numbers to suit you. Uh, hopefully this tutorial helped you, hopefully it made sense. If you do have any questions please leave a comment in this video and I will be sure to answer your comment. You can also shoot me a message. If you like this video click like. If you want me to do these weekly let's get that up to about 50 likes and I'll definitely be doing these weekly. If you guys would like that, if this video helped you and you'd like to see more, also subscribe. Thank you guys. I'm coming back to YouTube, so I want to repopulate this channel with more videos like these. So, awesome. See you guys.